Continuing on from the first video in the series, my mechanical assemblies are all set up, but they just aren't acting like I know they should. I move one gear, the other stays still. I pull a handle, my drill head doesn't descend. Hmm. I need some way to transfer motion from component to component. That's where mechanical mates come in. Let's look at three mechanical mates, gear, screw, and rack and pinion. The gear mate can be applied by choosing the gear mate from the mechanical mates tab and is not exclusive to gears. It is defined by selecting any two components that you want to move relative to each other. Corresponding sketch circles, circular edges, or circular faces on the two components are selected to relate the gear's pitch diameters to one another. The selected pitch diameters will automatically determine the ratio of rotation from one gear to the next, but the ratio can also be manually manipulated. Gear mates help your team see exactly how rotating systems interact, saving crucial rework or physical prototyping. The screw mate constrains two entities to be concentric to one another and adds a pitch relation to one component's rotation versus the other component's translation. Screw mate options allow you to choose if the pitch relation is defined by revolutions per distance or distance per revolution. This aligns with standard thread definitions of threads per inch or millimeter. Use the screw mate to validate your assembly's extension length or thread profile. Lastly, let's talk about the rack and pinion mate. Rack and pinion mates transfer rotation from one gear to linear translation of a corresponding rack. To create a rack and pinion mate, select the gear's pitch diameter and a linear edge of the rack in the axis of translation. The pitch diameter of the pinion determines the amount of linear translation for the rack. This mate allows for validation of extension length or pinion teeth per inch. Gear, screw, and rack and pinion mates are great ways to validate mechanical assemblies with interacting parts. You can ensure proper extension with the screw mate or proper ratio of rotation with gear or rack and pinion mates. Start using mechanical mates to validate your assemblies, communicate mechanical motion, and save your team costly redesign time. Next episode, we'll cover the profile center, path, linear coupler, and symmetric mates. See you then.